Hi, welcome to our channel. This video is for those who want to pursue speech therapy and audiology as their career. What is speech language pathology? Speech therapy, professionally known as speech language pathology, abbreviated as SLP, is a field of allied health sciences that deals with the treatment of individuals with speech and language disorders. Speech disorders include difficulties in the production of sounds and language disorders include difficulties in understanding and formation of words. The field of speech therapy also deals with disorders related to voice, feeding and swallowing. How are they known as? A person who acquires a valuable degree to provide speech therapy is known as a speech therapist or speech language pathologist. What do they do? Speech therapists assess, diagnose and provide treatment to therapy sessions. They do not prescribe medications. They work with multidisciplinary team like ENT, occupational therapists, behavioral therapists, special educators, psychologists, etc. What is audiology? Audiology deals with the treatment of individuals with difficulty in hearing. They deal with congenital and acquired hearing loss, tinnitus, auditory processing disorders, etc. How are they known as? A person who acquires a valuable degree in audiology is known as an audiologist. What do they do? Audiologists assess and diagnose hearing loss and its severity. They provide treatment by prescribing hearing aids, cochlear implants, and by providing auditory therapy. Speech language pathology and audiology are pursued together as an undergraduate degree. Here are the courses common to speech language pathology and audiology. Undergraduate courses include Bachelor's in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology, BASLP or BSc Speech and Hearing. It is an undergraduate course for a duration of four years, three years plus one year internship. To join this course, the candidate should have completed 12th standard with a science major. A person with BASLP or BSc Speech and Hearing can work independently as a speech language pathologist or audiologist in hospitals, private speech and hearing centers, hearing aid industries, schools for children with disabilities, etc. Postgraduate courses include Masters in Audiology and Speech Language Pathology or MSc in Speech and Hearing. It also includes specialization courses like Masters in Speech Language Pathology, Masters in Audiology and other related postgraduate courses in the field of health sciences. Postgraduate courses are for a duration of two years or three years, two years plus one year internship. A person with a four-year undergraduate degree, BSLP or BSc Speech and Hearing can pursue post-graduation. After completion of post-graduation, they can work as lecturers, research officers and in hospitals, institutions, private setups, etc. Diploma in Hearing, Language and Speech is a one-year course. A candidate must have completed 12th standard or second PUC with a science major to pursue DHLS. They can work under the supervision of speech language pathologists or audiologists but cannot work independently. There are several colleges that provide speech and hearing courses all over India. You can refer to the website of the Rehabilitation Council of India RCI, and the Indian Speech and Hearing Association ESHA, for the accredited list of colleges in India that provide courses in speech and hearing. The link is given in the description below for your reference. The following are just a few colleges in South India that provide courses in speech and hearing. Colleges in Tamil Nadu include Sri Ramchandra University, SRM University, Madras Medical College, Madras ENT Research Foundation, JIPMA, Christian Medical College, etc. Colleges in Karnataka include All India Institute of Speech and Hearing, Dr. S. R. Chandrasekhar Institute of Speech and Hearing, Sambad Institute of Speech and Hearing, M. V. Seti College of Speech and Hearing, Nasima Institute of Speech and Hearing, Manipal College of Allied Health Sciences, Kasturba Medical College, etc. Colleges in Kerala and Telangana include National Institute of Speech and Hearing, Marthomo College of Special Education, Aliyavar Jung National Institute of Hearing Handicap, Sweeker Academy of Rehabilitation, etc. The admission process would differ from college to college. Admission can be based on marks scored in high school or through entrance examinations conducted by the colleges or through the counseling process in the respected college.
Looking into the scope of speech language pathology and audiology, people with a valuable degree can work in various setups based on their level of education. They can work in hospitals, private centers, hearing aid industries, schools, universities or institutions, research centers, etc. They can also provide teletherapy services like me. People who want to pursue speech language pathology and audiology as a career need to be emotionally strong. They need to be patient. They should know how to approach problems quantitatively and qualitatively. They should have extraordinary skills in listening, observing, concentrating and record keeping. They should have good communication skills to convey the results of assessments and therapy procedures to the clients, parents, relatives and others. And here we end this video. This video is done just as a guide for those who want to pursue speech language pathology and audiology as their career. Learn to work, work to learn, make your work as passion. I hope this was useful. All the best and thank you for watching.